Hi, it's Christopher Grubb. I am in High Point at the market. It's a big furniture show. I am with Jamie Drake. Jamie has uh, a line and new product debuting at Theodore Alexander. And I am thrilled with this market because it's my sixth market with Theodore Alexander. And this time I have tripled the amount of space that I've been given to display my product. And so we've tripled the amount of product. I saw that. It's amazing. I mean, the volume and the way you did the vignette. So what's the inspiration for the new pieces? What, where do you get the inspiration on this one? You know, the, the inspiration for me, I think, comes daily into my brain and how it turns into product is often when I just sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil and I start doodling and sketching. Sometimes it'll come from something I've seen in a shop window or a magazine page, something antique um, or an exhibit I've been to and sometimes it's just like a vibe like I'm very into like a sort of a 70s vibe at this point and my fresh series of upholstery which we're sitting on has biscuit tufting, and it's very kind of hip, a little Hugh Hefner, God bless the late Hugh Hefner. It's got wonderful tubular arms that are rather industrial, but these happen to be made of wood and lacquered with a bronze finish. They're wood, they're not metal, which gives it much more richness and much harder to do. And so we've got bronze, dark bronze leather, we've got lighter bronze, lacquered wooden arms, and I think they're all conspiring to create something that is indeed fresh. So talk about like your finishes because you brought up something that looks like metal and it's really wood. What are your goals or what is your passion about finishes? Like what, what did you want in this collection and emulate even with your project? I love complicated finishes, ones that are not singular because I think it makes things more interesting when you have metal, meet wood, meet lacquer, meet stone, and they have that ability to do that. So. And what about fabrics? You brought you brought up you like the smoothness of this, and what about your fabrics you're using? I tend to like things that have luster, so you'll see a lot of things that have a, a metallic in them, whether it's sometimes just a slight sheen, um, as in the beautiful pink velvet Venus sofa that's in the next room, or that um, uh, has a bold sheen like the gilt flecks that are in the fabric on the Monty sofa and chair, which is kind of a, a casual woven texture, but has gilt threads in it. Can I be fair that it's got a Hollywood glamour, but also is a Vegas of a certain era, just that sparkle and kind of excitement too. Well, Monty, Monty was named after James Mont, okay. the decorator to the mob, as they called him in the 40s and 50s. All right. A lot of your stuff is pre-trend. You're setting a trend. You're seeing things. What do you think you're doing that we're going to be seeing in a year, in two years, as it's, as it's coming into consumer market, the big consumer I market? I think um, uh, glossier wood finishes again. Um, we've seen a lot of more matte and natural wood finishes, and I think it's time for high gloss wood again. Um, I think that things are being very much more structured. I don't like think architectural the, the furniture's and... tight seats, tight backs. I think that we'll see complexity of warm tone metal, so less polished brass and ones that have more patina to them. And so gold, I mean, I've been asked to watch on trends and stuff, gold, burnished, brassy. For the last couple of years, they've said, oh, that's becoming it. I'm using it in small bathrooms and an element. You have several pieces. So how has that been received or what inspired you for that? Because you're not a follow trends. You, you have a feeling no, no, about I, it. I'm pretty much almost entirely um, golden tone metals, whether they're dark ones, like the bronze is here, or polished brass, like on other pieces, accents. Uh, I'm totally for the richness of golden tones. Right. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. If somebody wants to know more about your work, your line, where can they find you? I'm Jamie Drake. I'm based in New York City. You can find out more about my interior design work at drakeanderson.com or about our furniture here at theodorealexander.com. So if you want to also see more about his design, like I said, he's known for color, but I also appreciate the variety of Just aesthetics. Google me and you'll see and learn. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Christopher.